one called Akium. You understand? I want to give all praises to you. How about Sham? You always shy. You understand? They were honest to the apostles of GMS. Salutation to the Akium around the four corners of the earth. You know, the brothers around the four corners of this earth pushing this word, you know, this truth in, in sincerity. You understand? Um, I want to go into the topic of <coughs> repentance as the scriptures, uh, um, you know, speak. You understand? What it have to say about repentance, how do you actually repent, you understand? Because these daffy duck Christians, you understand, have the misconception that, you know, is, you, you're supposed to take some physical water and take a bath, take a shower, take a wash. You understand? I mean, I said, dip yourself. You understand? So, I just want to go into that as it pertains to what the scriptures have said. Because that's what, that's what Yahweh Shai said. It is those who believe on him. You understand? Based on what the scriptures have said. Now, now, what, you, now what you think, now what you feel. You understand? Now, now what your, your wicked ass mind come up with. Because he said, he, the scriptures also say that, you know, the, 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 heart, the heart is dis deceptive or deceitful above all. Who can know it? It is deceitful. It, yo, it's, your, your own mind is a dread thing. You understand what I say? And hence why the, the, the scriptures also talk about, you know, bringing all um, thought into captivity under Hamashiach. You understand? That is in the scriptures. Bringing all thoughts into captivity, meaning you have to basically fight yourself because we're, 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 we're in a, we're in a spiritual buckle right now. You understand? Actually, we want to kick it off with that. With, um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, starting at verse 4. You understand? Because this is what really going on. Just to set the pace before we get into the repentance issue. How do you repent according to the scriptures? But first we have to knock off, start, start it off with this. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, <clears throat> but mighty through Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, to the pulling down of strongholds. You understand? So you know this society that we live in, this kingdom that we're living in, you understand? Is a yo, is a mighty tower I know, is a is a stronghold. You understand the message? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are the only one, you know, who can basically pull on all the, the stronghold and the, the follies and all these things. Because everything outside of this world, you understand, go lead you astray. You understand? I'm continuing, right? Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against. So everything that exalted itself against the Mosai, which are the, the theories of these nations, the theories of Esau. You understand? Because he's the mastermind behind the whole, but behind the, uh, the League of Nations. He's the, he the prime culprit. You know? the, right now, a him in control. You know, tell you that the scripture tell you that the world is given over into the hands of the wicked. Which is Esau. I say the scriptures also say that the wicked is estranged from the womb. You understand what I say? And from Jacob and Esau was in the womb. You understand? Him and Jacob did have a fight. Because why Jacob knew said there was a wicked bastard beside him there. You understand what I say? Him and we are battle it out. But right now, you know that the, you see it's it started with the, with the physical battle between him and Jacob in the womb. But right now, and the Amashaya. I'm going to show you how know, hey, the weapons of warfare right now is spiritual. You understand? And also tell that the words, if you don't understand what spiritual is, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. John 6, 63. You understand? him tell you that. So this is how you know what, 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 what spirit, or what I'm talking about when you say spirit. It's not no, no kumbaya, no, 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 Right? Continuing, right? And everything that exalted itself against the knowledge, and what is the knowledge of the Mosai? What is the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? The entire scriptures. Yahweh I tell you, Hebrews chapter 10 and 7, that you know will come in another volume of the book. Yeah, it is written of me. It is written of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word of the Mosai, the Heavenly Father. You understand? Continuing, right? And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience. Or they have Christ here, but it's Hamashiach in, in, in the, um, the Hebrew tongue. You understand? So the anointed one. You understand? So bringing into captivity, you understand? Every thought, everything what you think, 
everything will go through your mind every thought will come through your mind supposed to be running according to what Hamashiach teach you according to what Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly called Jesus teaching of the scriptures based off of the true understanding and using Isaiah chapter 28 starting at verse 9 we will let you know you know precept upon precept line upon line here a little there a little you understand so the elect men go get it based off of that using that that that, that precept that, that that scripture right there the, the men of the elect the men who Yahweh Shimei Shai the most I chose from the foundations of the earth them go get it using that you understand this thing go the thing go refresh them memory you understand because you know through reincarnation with the being around they go, you go sound familiar to them to their spirit they go take pick up on it but to those you know who is not a part of this it is a trap for them you understand it's a, it's a snare them can't get it because <laughs> here a little dear a little you understand and plus you have to be taught by men of Yahweh Bashim you have to be taught by you know those men who the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai working with Starting from the apostles of GMS coming down, to, you know, to the elders, you understand, to the rest of the Akyum, right? So now we go into the topic of repentance. Now that we, we clear the stage and we set the stage, we set the premise, you understand, for what we are operating off of, right? So we are cast down all them imaginations and them folly, you understand? If it's not going according to the word of the Most High, which is the scriptures, the true understanding of the scriptures, you understand? Then we don't want to hear it. You understand? So we want to start it off with John chapter 17 and verse 7. You understand? That is what we're going to start it off with right now. Seeing? Let we, 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 we see what we want inside that is the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You understand? And it reads, because this, these, these are the words of Hamashiach himself, Yahweh Shai. You understand? Bigger brother, you understand what I'm saying? It reads, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So, the, <laughs> who the world ignorantly called Jesus, which is not Jesus, but Yahweh in the Hebrew tongue, these are his exact words. In him say, John 17, verse 17. John chapter 17, verse 17. So like sanctify them, so to make, make clean them who? You understand? Those who have ear to ear, you understand what I mean? I say? Um, through thy word. So sanctify them through the, thy truth, and thy word is truth. So that the words pertaining to John 663 say me, thy words that thy speak is spirit and their life. You understand? So the words are gonna sanctify you. The words, when you listen to the words of the, the, the anointed one, which him coming at the volume of the book. It's not just an Old Testament and New Testament separation thing with them with them daffy duck Christians being on. You understand? It is one book. You understand? Yeah, how about Shem Yahushai? The most high, you understand, is not an art of confusion. If you can't get it, it just wasn't meant for you. You understand the message? Just leave it alone. And stop teach people madness and folly. But you go kick, but you go play, go play some sport or play some shit and go and enjoy yourself. You understand? I stop lead the flock astray. But the flock will eventually get it, you know, they're going to get it because why? You know, nobody can pluck none of the men of the elect out of the hands of Yahweh Shai, who the Father Yahweh have given to him. You understand? Let me get Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. See? You understand? Let me see, let me see what the scriptures say. And not what Mr. Pastor Pork Chops devising in him wicked mind. You understand what I say? Coming up with all type of madness and all type of theory. Telling the people them, you know, say them have to take a shower. Them have to take a dip. You understand? Them have to <laughs> them, have, <laughs> them have to take a dip in the sea. Or in the beach or wherever them want to go dip. You understand? Or in a pool. But yo, that's not what the Moses say. The most I said in John 17, chapter, chapter 17, um, verse 17, what I just read, him tell us that you're going to be sanctified through the word, through thy word. You understand? Thy truth, which is thy word. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. You understand? And it reads, That ye might sanctify, that ye might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water, the washing of water by the word, you understand? 
So here we go on, verse 27, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or anything, any such thing. But that's you know got no 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 form um no but no um no 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 spot no wrinkle meaning no blemish you understand what I say you know going transgression transgression of the law you know gonna be transgressing you know you know gonna be found to no fault before the throne you understand before the throne of your shy or the throne of your how about shy right but that should be holy and without blemish so holy being separate you understand and without blemish, without any 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 uh, faults, you understand? But I tell you, it seems as if them pastors never get that power when they tell the people them for repent and for repent. You, you would read that he might sanctify and cleanse it, you understand? You understand? With the washing of the water by the word, you understand? By the word, you know, so that the word. <laughs> By the word, Mr. Pastor Pork Chops, how you miss that part? You don't understand? See, you share the word out. You understand? We're we'll continuing, right? Going in James. Let me get James chapter 4. Sin uh, 8. Right? Let me get let me get that. Sin okay. Right? So James chapter 4 verse 8 reads, Draw nigh to Yahweh, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your, your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. You understand? So ye double minded, meaning um, purify your heart, purify your mind. If you draw to the Mosai, you understand? To him, laws, him, statutes, him, commandments, him, judgments. Given that you are part of Israel, that is how you're going to purify your mind. You understand? When you get the true understanding of the scriptures. You understand? It's not just taking up the book and reading things. You have to get the, the correct breed down to the scriptures. You understand? To the men um, that the most of you are working with from them. You have to get it from them. You understand? Pastor Pork Chops wasn't taught by was it taught by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? Hence why I tell the people to do all type of folly. You understand what I want? Con. Alright, let me get let me get um Psalms chapter 12 and 6. Right? And so I read the words of Yahweh are pure words. A silver thread in uh in a furnace of earth purified seven times. You understand? So further take this basically expound upon James chapter 4 and 8. You understand? Know it I tell you that the words of Yahweh are pure words. A silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times. So purified a completion of times. You understand? Know it completely purified. That's what I say. Completely pure. You understand? Know? No, no form of fault. No folly. No imagination. Fox upon fox upon fox. That's what that just I say if you don't understand it, right? Fox upon fox, truth. You understand? No lies. You understand? Come. Right? You get Mark chapter 1. I say you must have more than, more than you must have witness, you know. Right now you have more than one witness right now. You hear from James. You hear from John. I know you're going to hear from Mark. So, it's a prove all things. So prove first Thessalonians um five I think. You understand? Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is which is which is good. You understand? So you're proving it using the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You understand? Is it written, is recorded by them. You understand more than one witness. You understand? So if you want to believe Mr. Pastor Pope chapter will come off him top of my mind. Think again. It, it's written. It's there in other scriptures. You understand? So let me get Mark, Mark 1 and 8. Alright? Alright. So this hit the nail upon the head. In case you never understand the previous um, scriptures that I read, then let, 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 me, let Mark tell you. Let the apostle Mark, Mark the, right? Mark tell you. You know the words that you, you use, you, you hear the pastor talking about baptize. In case you never understand what sanctification means, that I read in John. In John um, for, uh, 17 and 7 right 
So listen this. This is Mark chapter 1, verse 8, right? I indeed have baptized you with water, but ye shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. You understand? <laughs> you understand what God? So this was talking about John the Baptist baptizing Yahweh Shai. Yes. But then him tell you, ye, meaning Yahweh Shai, shall baptize you, Yahweh Shai would the world ignorantly call, um, ignorantly call Jesus, right? He said that John the Baptist telling you that even though he's him baptize Yahweh Shai with the physical water, he foreshadowing things to come, basically. He might tell us, hey, he, right, shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. You understand? That's what Yahweh Shai duty is. That's what Yahweh Shai came and do. That's why I'm come and do right now. You understand? So right now, you're going to be purified. You understand? Through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, which is separate. It's make you separate. You understand? Okay, that's all holy mean, really, in a separate. You understand? Make you without blemish, without spots. Because you're listening to what the kings are kings saying. You do, you're following the laws, the statutes, the commandments at the most side. You understand? Right? So I tell you that you will be um, baptized with the Holy Spirit. You understand? Right? I continue again. Um, Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 and um, 38. Let me see what's going on in the scriptures, right? These things flying over past the pork chops, pork chops head, you know? You just can't get it, you know. You understand? I'm only concerned about filling up the, 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 um, the plates. The plates with, them, with, the, with the people and money. <laughs> that in my mind, upon the people and tides. You understand what I want? And then him tell them sweet nothings after. You understand? Tell them what they want to hear. Smooth words. You understand? Based on what Esau been teaching him in a them theological school. You understand? <laughs> Alright, yeah, get back to the scripture, alright? This is Acts chapter 2, verse 28. Alright? 38, so okay. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahushai and Mashiach, for the remissions of sin, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You understand? When you're baptized, when you have a, a renewal of mind. You understand when the mind become renewed in Yahweh Shai, which is the Son of the Most High, right? Then you go receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You understand? So you go know all the, 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 um, the breakdowns, the mysteries of the scriptures. You go understand precept upon precept. Here a little dearer. You go understand these things. You go understand who the devil is in the earth. You understand? You go understand who you is. You know your nationality. Who, who, you know what, what lineage you're from. You know through the spirit. It's all through the spirit. You, know? you go know. Because you go receive that gift of the Holy Spirit when you are renewed in Hamashayak. You understand? And hence why, when you, when you approach these people who claim to them believing at the most, and you ask them about the mysteries, them, them don't even know what time it is. Them start. Huh? Huh? What? Thing, where, where you get that from? <laughs> you reading a different book or? Nah. I know you're not that you're reading a different book. You just don't have the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hence why you not you don't know what time it is. You understand? You don't know how much a clock I go on in the scripture. You understand? Let me continue again. Let me, let me jump down to uh, verse 41. Right? Same Acts chapter 2 verse 41. Then they that gladly received the, his word were baptized so the prophet tell you said those who received the word what word the word of Yahweh Shai you understand they were baptized and the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls you understand what I'm going you understand what I'm going so those who received the word you understand you understand this, the holy scriptures based off of what you know you know who believe in an, um, the son of the most high Yahweh Shai Based on what, 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 what the scriptures have said, them were baptized. Verse 41. So that this final verse here revealed to you how the people are most baptized. 
seen. He never he, he tell you about any water there, Mr. Pork Chops. Huh? You understand? You er hey. Yeah, hey, you y'all you are going off on your own minds. You understand? Erring, wrestling with the scriptures. You understand as a, as a, um, <laughs> Peter tell you that would happen with, with, with reading Paul letters. You understand? Also with other scriptures. Not just Paul letters. You, you, you don't know how much o'clock it is in the scriptures. You know? Hence why I not tell people say I water them need for wash off them face and wash off them foot and wash off them hand and all them things there. Seeing and them go fresh. John 6 63 tell you what? The body changed not. You understand? It is the spirit that quickens. You understand? The spirit that quickens. You understand? Meaning your mind that quickens. You understand? And the words, the only thing that quick that can quick quicken your mind, you understand? Is the truth. Who is the truth? Yeah, which has the way the truth and the life. You understand? Precept upon precept. You understand? So with that, you know I want to I want to give our praises to you. How about Sham Yahushai? Double honors to the apostles of GMS. You know, salutation to the Akyam around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this word, you know, truth and in sincerity. You understand? I want to say um, um Shalom. I stay strong. Call Akyam. <laughs>